All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Got Toby in the yo, back yo. playing some fucking video games back there. But we're back with some more content, man. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Please continue to do that. Hit the notification bell so that you know every Thumbs single up. time that we get a video up here. So, um, yeah, man, we're back with another episode. We're Liddy, like always, guys. So, you know how we rock. Yeah. But, um, yeah, John, how you feeling today, bro? We chilling. Have a couple beers, a yeah, couple bro, brewskis. Just, I'm cool, man. You we know, nice cool, cold man. ones. And uh, it's a beautiful day to just have a couple of beers and, you know, a couple smokes. Facts. And just hang out. And just relax, man. Facts. Relax. Been a straight day, bro. Been a straight day. Yeah, For beard sure, is sure. looking extra orange. Yeah, man. Mickey, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> kind of orangey. My dog's looking They're like growing Mickey it out. Was. We'll see how long I'll, I'll grow it out, guys. Yeah? Yeah. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Yeah, bro. I tried it. I trimmed it. Yeah. And, you know, you have those phases. You're like, let yeah. me see. Let me see. Yeah. Then, you know what I'm saying? Then you, yeah. You some people show. say I got a nice chin, you know, so I just shape it down a little. You know what I mean? And I just line it up right. And I look like fucking, <laughs> I look like fucking Tom Hanks. Tom young, Hanks. And his younger fucking age. <laughs> and his like 20. This fucking guy, nah, bro. I'm just kidding. Nah, man, but. It's crazy, bro. It's 2020, man. We live in, a, in in some weird times and shit, bro. And um, and yeah, bro. I feel like there's a lot of double standards out here when it comes to a lot of shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know it's something that you wanted to touch on and shit. Yeah, you know, uh, I had a couple conversations with buddies, and I'm not gonna, you know, say no names and uh, but you know, you we know have, who you are, you yeah, piece of shit. Yeah, we know who you are, and. Uh, <laughs> Nah, we just, we had a couple homies that, they're not okay with, like, swinging. Right. You know what I mean? Like, they they don't feel secure enough to give up their woman for another woman. You know mm. what I mean? Like, they feel like it's just not, it's not okay. It's not right. good. I feel like it's good. <laughs> 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 I feel like it's nah, a, facts. Nah, I mean, nah. I don't know, bro. I nah, feel nah. like I wouldn't if swing. You, I wouldn't swing. Like I just I don't see the point of it, but it's like being married, yeah, and doing it. Yeah, but I mean, the couples that do it, they do it, and you know, it's like it's an it's an understanding. Some people get too emotionally attached to some to certain people, and that's what it really is. Yeah, because it's like like I don't know about you, but I feel like you can have sex without having feelings involved. Yeah. There's some people that can't that they don't work like that, bro. Yeah, they they themselves can't fuck somebody without having certain type of feelings or building a certain type of relationship. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't the same. So would you feel comfortable getting cheated on by a girl or I mean a woman? I wouldn't or, feel comfortable or... getting cheated on at all. But if I find out that yeah. my girl's cheating with a girl, yeah. it's a whole different situation than yeah. if I find out she's cheating with a guy. Yeah. But a girl is like, damn, babe, why didn't you tell me before? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. We can finagle this and work this out. Yeah. It's workable. It's workable. You should have told me. <laughs> I mean, if I find out later on, like five years down the road, I'll be like, listen, is this like something new? Like, you yeah, know, I'm going to be asking like, questions. Yeah, like, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm wonder a couple yeah. things. But it's not as bad as if you find out that she was, you know what I'm saying? In the beginning. Fucking a nigga. Yeah. Like, Damn, bro. Like, that's nah, like that's you, different, That's like bro. you finding out, like... You know, she's a fucking man. Oh, no. that That's... <laughs> like, five years pe- down the fucking line. There's people sitting in prison right now for shit like that. That's so. crazy. That's ridiculous. Yeah, nah, nah. I would fucking... That's sp- crazy. I'll smash this bottle on the person's <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. That's a completely different situation, bro. That is. I, I, yeah, nah. I wouldn't even know what to fucking do. But, yeah, I'd rather be, I'd rather be cheated on by a female than a... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd like, rather be cheated like, on. Like, I'd rather get cheated on by sense. my girl with another girl. Yeah, exactly. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure, bro. Yeah. So. But fuck all that cheating shit. Guys, don't don't think we're condoning this shit. We're not condoning this shit. Don't cheat. Just yeah, don't, don't cheat. Don't, don't cheat. It's Just, not cool. If you got a good one, you got a good one. If you don't, don't cheat. Leave. Go find a good one. Just stay single. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just stay single for a while. Figure yourself out. We all yeah. got to have a whole phase. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. Yeah. Like... As Hello. humans, if you don't have a whole phase, bro, you're gonna die miserable. And sometimes, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes, That's sometimes they never go back. No, bro. <laughs> sometimes you find a beautiful new world. Nah, <laughs> you never know. You never know. 
That's now, crazy. but I'll tell you a world that I never want to fucking live in. A world full of vegans. Mm. Fucking vegans, man. And the crazy shit is my ex was a vegan. And I should have known it would have worked out just yeah. from that. Yeah, the cooking you know situation. I mean? Like, I don't know. I want a dead animal on my plate, as fucked up as that sounds. Yeah. I need a piece of fish, a piece of fucking cow, a piece of pig, a piece of chicken. I need something. I need something some- of protein. I need something <laughs> alive. I can't have no beans, corn. Like, you know, I can't, I can't have no fucking just regular shit. Nah, like, I yeah. can. Like, I, I, like, I eat everything, you know, but... I need I some, just, yeah. yeah I, I'm I at the some, age where I started eating more vegetables and shit now. Yeah. I, I wasn't like that two, you know, yeah, two, three I like years sushi. ago. I love sushi. I can't fuck with sushi. No. It gotta be cooked. Yeah, I can't fuck with raw food. Ooh, I love sushi. I don't know what it is. Like the California yeah. rolls, like those are like, I mean, there's different types of sushi, though. I've heard there's sushi that, like, it, it's cooked, you know, with yeah, like yeah, chicken you and, go to and, Publix yeah. and shit. Yeah, I mean,. I don't know. Like, I'm not 100% sure how they make it. Like, I just like it. Right. Like, I, I mean, nah, bro. It's I, different I, I, food, I bro. Yeah. It's pretty good, though. Um, but now, nah, I don't I don't know. I mean, I, I, I've seen some people that they date vegans and they it's okay. Like, no, nah, yeah. No, nah, I was just talking shit. Me yeah. and my ex are actually cool. Yeah, you know yeah, but, yeah. It's just, I don't know how it would work out. I mean, you would have to cook your own food because you Yeah, yeah you got to do just, two meals. Yeah. You know? Like, she cooks her vegan shit and then. Or if she's really fucking. You cook your shit. About it, she'll cook both of your foods. That'll oh, be yeah. Co- that'll be, that'll yeah, be pretty that cool. Yeah, that too. Yeah. That too. But nah, bro, it's like, yeah. I just, I mean, I don't understand it. I feel like you can't, like, your body needs other things too. That's just how I feel. You know, you could, you could replace it with other things, like, you know, meat, you could eat, like, certain peanuts and shit like that. Like, yeah, peanuts. almonds and yeah. whatever like certain things you could replace that protein with but it's like why would you want to nigga i want a steak <laughs> like i want almond a fucking milk. nice steak almond milk like i don't know i'd rather just have milk Damn, <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather just have milk my shit just fucking broke guys damn no, i don't worry about this back we back we back we back we back man we back yeah I don't know. I don't. I want to tell you something that happened back back in the day, though. Mm. I'm gonna tell you back story back in time, the day. guys. Back back in the day when people ain't have nothing to say, Miles. Uh, uh. I don't know about y'all, but I remember shit in my pants when I was a kid. Yeah. At least once. As a kid, yeah. Yeah, at least once. Yeah, you when know? you're a little kid, yeah. sometimes you can't hold it in, or you think you're fighting. Yeah, but yeah. You, you know you you get a little poop juice you, you, that comes out. Yeah, you, know what you I mean? get you get a little skeet, you get a little white, you get a little wank wank. You know what I mean? You get a little fucking skid mark. Toby, how about you? Have you fucking shit yourself? No, actually, I do not recall. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right, so I guess fucking. I'm the only one in the building that shit myself. Nah, but. bro, but I I, did, I never shit myself like past the age of like four. <laughs> it was one time I. <laughs> 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 nah, that's a fact though. Nah, there was, there was, there one, was one time like two years ago. I didn't have. Nah, man, I didn't have toilet paper, bro. I know, I know one of y'all, bro. Nah, like, nah, I know, I know one of y'all. I know that my fucking dog pissed. Santos feels you. Yo. Shout out to Santos, nah. bro. That nigga preaches. Preaches for you to carry some toilet paper in your trunk in case you gotta shit yourself I or know. you do shit yourself. Oh, well, come on, man! But I know one of y'all have carried a bottle and pissed in it because you were stuck in traffic or you just oh, could. Oh, bro! I did that shit the other okay. day. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, no nah, facts. Damn, I haven't done that in years. Oh no, nah, bro! I, bitch, <laughs> I'm on the go. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bottle right here. I got some hand sanitizer right here. <laughs> You know what I mean, Mom? That's we, we Gucci. I don't got to move. Yo, we got tents. You know, we good to go. Nah, facts. My tents is lovely. Yo, you ain't so, looking at my shit. Yo, speaking of cars, though, you know, I heard it was bad luck to have sex in a car. Mm. Oof. I don't know Damn, about you, but I, I the bouncing around on the suspension, I don't know. I heard it's just bad luck. It could have been is. a typical Puerto Rican. Yeah, it's saying, just an old, old you know, crazy Spanish nigga. Yeah. Was like, yo, don't do it. I yeah. did it with my first wife, and she cheated hey, on me. Yo, I <laughs> fucked in the car once. A week later, the spring popped. <laughs> you know, it's like crazy. And that nigga just don't know that he bought a fucking beater. Like, yeah. He bought a $600 Honda, and he's like, it was the sex in the car. Yeah. Was, you know? I don't know, but after that, after I had sex, it was a gun. I don't know. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah, nah. I don't believe that shit. I've had, I've had sex in... 
a few of the I mean, vehicles that I own. Yeah, well, damn. <laughs> nah, it might be true, though, for you. Yeah, because I fucked around in the car shit. in that Focus for, man, plenty of years. I Yo, got I got a lot of activities. Memories, man. A lot of activities and memories. I should have never got rid of my Buick. Yeah. That was a boat. You had fucking, <laughs> you had fucking Sammy and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. talking about it. I'm fucking just say he had a lot yeah, of fucking parties. I had a lot of fucking party going on in my shit, bro. Yeah, that is. That's but now, funny. fuck that, bro. The Buick, man, the Buick was nice though. It was like a giant boat driving through the fucking city. No, bro, facts. <laughs> and that's something I wanted to talk about, bro. It's like different cars go with different ages like yeah. i remember when i was fucking 16 17 getting my permit about to get my license stoked as fuck i wanted a fast car yeah, that's yeah. all you give a fuck about yeah, 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 yeah i'm gonna be yeah. out here shit on niggas bro i'm at the age where i just want a truck that's comfortable yeah. <laughs> i could get in and out of fucking smoothly without my fucking knees buckling oh yeah <laughs> Like, I'm too tall, bro, for these fucking lowered cars and, like... Yeah, you need, like... I'm 6'6", six, six, bro. I can't be in a fucking lowered Honda Civic, bro. Nah. I need a fucking truck. Yeah. Or, a, a, like, a SUV or something. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, something big. Like, like a Lincoln Navigator or yeah, something. Yeah, like a Yukon or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, me, I'm, you know, I'm 5'11". You know what I mean? I'm normal height. I Fair. think I could hop into Now, you're a little bit above average. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit tall. So they say the average height for a male is like 5'9 or something. Damn, okay, so I'm a little bit above average, so yeah. good. Yeah, because I, I would hate to be short, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, bro, like... I'm sorry, man. Like, shout out to Pedro. My dog is 5'5". Five, five. It's like, oh my God, bro. I mean, like, I've seen some short-ass dudes, you know, pull some baddies. Oh, no, no, that it's all like, about same confidence. height, yeah, yeah. It's all about I've confidence. Seen it, I've seen you know? it all day. But um, I just personally wouldn't want to be that size. It's like, bro, you're shopping with your son. I mean, like, at the same fucking, like, size section. Like, you're both size fucking six and your feet. And it's like, what the fuck? There's a couple <laughs> things that bother me, a couple features that, you know, I notice about some females, too. You know what I mean? And men. You know what I mean? Harry. And us Latinas, you know what I mean? Us Latinos and Latinas, you know what I mean? We kind of hairy. We hairy. I've oh, seen no, some, bro. they got to shave their fucking mustache. They Listen, fucking... bro. Niggas are born with full <laughs> mustaches. And by the time that they're fucking 14, 15, they got full beards. Nah, for real. Looking like grown ass fucking 25 year olds and shit. Fucking Jose had a beard at 13. Yeah, bro. My dog David, man. Shout out to David. Shout out Jose, bro. Them yeah. niggas fucking at a young age had a five, full five fucking beard like this, bro. Like what we got now. Like niggas. Five o'clock shadow type shit. Niggas yeah. is growing a beard beard already, bro. Shit crazy, man. Crazy. I didn't start growing a beard. But so that's something later. that's like. Like, yeah, bro. Like, you know, we all have hair and shit, but too much of anything can be too much. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> too much of anything yeah, yeah. can be I too see, much. I've seen some hairy arms. Yeah, bro. Where it's like, damn, like fuck. Yo, like, what do you do? Like, like, you bad, but damn. Damn, I've seen some hairy arms, and I and I love them. But <laughs> 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 I'm trying to lick the fucking arm uh, hair, like a cat hair, like. <laughs> <laughs> get a hairball and nah, shit. Nah, nah. Fuck Addy. Nah, you definitely like, but you just gotta watch out. You gotta trim it. You know, because if you shave it, it'll grow in even more, like, it'll grow heavier. Nah, so fast. You gotta be careful. So, like, some women, they just leave it like that. But it's hard. Because, you know, you try to you rub your arm against their arm and you feel some type of, like, Wolverine hair. Damn. That's fucked up. Yeah. Honestly, bro, it's like, like, everybody has their preferences. You can have your preferences and shit. But yeah. you know what it sounds like right now, Mom? What? It sounds like you're judging. I don't know. And you know what people judge? Tattoos. Well, you know what? I got a hairy ass. You think they're fucking judging too? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? I'm going nah, to have to get it waxed. Nah, bro. Facts. Who nah, knows? I mean, I don't know about all that, bitch, but. <laughs> <laughs> they say it don't hurt. <laughs> I mean, go see. Go find out. Let me know. But yeah, bro. I'm telling you, man. It's crazy. Like, like we're starting to get our fucking, you know, our sleeves, our tattoo sleeves and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, we got some tats. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're, we're building the collection. Yeah. And it's crazy, bro, how, like, people look at you a certain way once you have tattoos. Yeah. And how people are judgmental towards tattoos. Yeah. You know? Like, you have certain amount of tattoos or tattoos that are look a certain way. You're automatically a thug 
or you're automatically uneducated or you're automatically something you know what i mean and honestly there's a lot of business owners there's a lot of people that are very successful that have tattoos you know what I'm saying? So, in today's in, in today's society, if you're judging somebody for their tattoos, bro, you you're like 40 years late. Yeah. Like Absolutely. for real, bro. Like, how are you even gonna judge the person? What if they come in in a suit? You don't even know. Like seriously. Nah, like, for nowadays, real. Like nowadays, like you could just wear a long sleeve if you don't have tattoos on your on your wrist or yeah, you know, or, or over like your wrist, your, past yeah, your wrist, yeah, past your wrist, then. I mean, you're good, bro. You're good. Like, if you got tattoos on your neck and your face and mm-hmm. all that stuff, then that's, you know, that's a little bit different. But, uh, yeah, I think just people are just judgmental, period. Even without the without the tattoos, you know what I mean? Just judgmental. Just, you know, but tattoos does play a part, a big part. You know, they just, they automatically think like, oh, you're part of a gang or, you know, something like that. Yeah, no, yeah, for real, bro. But that's just that's just people that are ignorant. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cause, there's there's a lot of people because there's a yeah. lot of law enforcement that have tattoos. There's a lot of military guys that have tattoos. Like tattoos are times are changing. Yeah, it is what it is, bro. Yep, times are changing, bro. Times are changing. You either get with the program or you fucking don't. Yeah. Know what I mean. Yeah, even my grandfather, he likes he likes the tattoos. He tells me he's in his seventies now, so. That says a lot. He's like, let me see your artwork, man. He doesn't even call it tattoos. So, you know, some people, they just, uh, they appreciate good artwork. So. Nah, yeah, yeah. bro. You, I mean, yeah. in my opinion, you don't have That's to like I mean. tattoos to appreciate art. Yeah. Like, you might be like, I would never get a, get a tattoo, but you could look at a tattoo and be like, whoa, like, that's art because it took, somebody sat there and drew, drew that. Like, that's a drawing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's in On somebody's you. skin. Yeah. Like, I, I fucking love tattoos, bro. I'm getting fucking yatted. Yeah, for real. Me too. My elbow's on fire. Guys, don't get a tattoo on your elbow. Yeah, that elbow's like the worst somebody, fucking part. Somebody. Told him about fucking Hush hush Gel Cream after after he already got yeah. that shit. Yeah, I got that shit after he told but me. Yeah, so. bro. Shout out to Chris, man. Chris is the one that told me to fucking get that Hush anesthetic or whatever the fuck it's called. It's like it's yeah. a numbing cream for tattoos. Yeah, numbing cream. Yeah, That's bro, cool. but it's crazy, man. We live in Florida, bro, and it's we. You know, we got the Yukon, we got we got rivers, St. John, like we got a lot of shit. We got springs, we have beaches. Like, what in in your opinion, what's better, bro, a beach or a spring? Honestly, I feel like the beach is a little bit better for me, just because mm. I like the water. I feel like it cleans you. It's salty. It, you know what I mean? You. Like you seriously, like it cleanses you. Like right. that's how I feel. Like it's just cleaning you because of the salt water. Fresh water is cool and all. I like it. It's just I heard a lot of people getting sick, like jumping into waters at the wrong time of the year, and there's like I don't know, like bad bacteria that can get mm-hmm. into you, and you know it can cause damage to your brain. Stuff like that, like little stuff Jesus like that. Christ, yeah. I don't know crazy what? stuff. I heard of people dying, like just getting. Now I've heard of that too, but it, it really happens, bro. Like, yeah. Nah, I mean, I don't know. It just depends on the mood I'm in. Honestly, I like both, bro. I like going to a spring. I like both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I I'll like go going to, to the beach and and fucking. But if I had to relaxing. choose, if I had to choose, now like, if I had to choose one for the rest of my life. Beach. Yeah, I'm going to the beach. I just like the waves. and I didn't honestly, bro. I just started liking the beach like that, bro. Like for years, bro. You know, you know me, bro. For years, I didn't yeah. give a fuck, yeah. bro. You couldn't get me to go to the beach if you paid me, bro. Yeah, you're like no. I don't give. I didn't give a fuck about the beach. Nah, I would rather go to a spring. Like my whole life, I've always, I'd rather have gone to a spring. Yeah. But now I'm at the age where it's different, bro. I changed my mind. Like the beach is a vibe, bro. Yeah, the beach is where it's. It's at. a fucking vibe. It changed my life, man. Well, I've been here all my life, so it's not no, really. Bro. It hasn't really changed shit. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't changed shit, bro. Yeah, it just is what it is. That's how I feel like. Every time I go, it changes my life every day. Nah, um, bro. The beach, it, it's beautiful, man. It gives you information. Like, the sun itself gives you gives you information and shit. Vitamin D. Like, yeah, that people ocean, don't know the that sound. shit. The sound is relaxing. The seagulls. Like, it's a whole vibe, bro. The girls and shit, like... Yeah. It's just a whole vibe, bro. Yeah. Real shit. People just, when they go to the beach, they just want to get tanned or they want to get banged. <laughs> they yeah. want to get tanned or they want to get banged. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga's wildin'. Yeah. 
But nah, man. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're updated every time that we drop a video. Um, subscribers are going up, and we appreciate everybody that's becoming a part of the Dope Talk family. Don't forget, at a thousand Word. subscribers, we're going to have a giveaway. So let us know what you would like us to give away, what you would like you know, to receive, whatever, man. We're not cheap, so let us know. Let us know. But we're back with another episode. We out. Peace.